You know Pythagorean theorem, c squared equals a squared plus b squared, right? Basically, if you have a right triangle, this leg squared plus this leg squared equals the hypotenuse squared. But what would happen if this side here, the hypotenuse, the longest side, if it got even longer, what would it do to the triangle? Well, you can see it's gonna actually open that angle up. It's actually gonna make this from a right angle to an obtuse angle. So you can see if the c side, the longest side, that c squared is greater than a squared plus b squared, this is gonna be obtuse. Now, what would happen, you think, if the C side got shorter, like we pulled in those two, two legs? Well, then this angle across from that side is gonna become smaller than 90, it's gonna be an acute triangle, and of course, if, if it's equal, then we know it's a right triangle, meaning it has a 90 degree angle. So, the next question is, is if we're given the three sides, 5, 12, and 14, how do we know which is the A, B, and C? Well, basically, the A is the shortest side, B is the medium, and C is the longest side. But what's different here is that normally when we do Pythagorean theorem, it's flipped, it's a squared plus b squared equals c squared. It's easier to work with it in this fashion where you have the, the c side on the left. So 14 squared, does that equal, is it less than or greater than a squared plus b squared? Well, let's simplify this. This is 12 plus 144, 14 squared is 196. If I add these together, I get 169. And you can see that 196 is actually greater than 169. That means that this is an obtuse triangle. Okay, so you're with me so far? Now let's go to example number two. We've got seven, eight, and 10. So again, A, B, and C. C is the longest side, so I've got 10 squared, question mark, seven squared plus eight squared. So we've got 149 plus 64. So let's see, that's gonna be 113, right? So let's see, hmm, let's see. 100 is less than 113. That means that this is an acute triangle, right? Acute, meaning that all the angles are less than 90 degrees. And then this one here, A, B, and C, this is actually a trick question. Now you're probably wondering, hmm, Mario, why'd you throw this trick question in here? Sometimes your teacher will do this to you. But you see how these two sides are not greater than the third side? This is getting into the triangle inequality theorem. You can check out the video I did uh, on that. But basically what it is, is imagine if this side is five, and imagine if this side is two, and this side is three, it just barely reaches. So this triangle is folding flat. It's like a drawbridge, you know? You want some space in there. Like if, for example, if this was five, and this was like three, and this was like three, that's six. We have more than enough room to span that distance of five. So what you wanna make sure is, is that any two sides added together have to be more than the third side. Not equal to, not less than, but they have to add up to more than the third side. So